Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Actually, a really nice day out. Do you see that? The sun is out and I'm in shorts and a tank top and it's actually warm out. It's so windy. This morning I'm having some blueberry lemon overnight oats. Um, I made these overnight oats not yesterday, the night before. because I was actually going to have this meal and film this video yesterday, but yesterday morning I woke up really weird and I was really, really sick for some reason. I haven't been sick in like years and I was, sorry if this is too much information, I was puking all morning and it was definitely something that I ate. It was sort of just like a stomach bug. I had lots of stomach pain, but so it sucked. I had to take the day off yesterday and just lay in bed all day and yeah, so last night I was feeling a lot better. I'm feeling totally 100% this morning. So these oats that I'm eating today, I actually made a few days ago and they still taste fine. So I think they're all right. That, that, that's what happened yesterday. Uh, this morning, I just let myself sleep as long as I needed to because I definitely needed to rest as much as possible after yesterday. So I was really happy that I had these overnight oats ready to go so that I didn't have to make a breakfast this morning. It was just really quick and easy because we're gonna head to the gym soon. These uh, overnight oats are blueberry lemon flavor. I know I've been making blueberry lemon things lately, like the pancakes in the last video, if you guys haven't seen that. <clears throat> That was the flavor that I chose to make, but honestly, I make these oats all the time. I've been making them for months, like blueberry lemon. They're just so good, and yeah, and I topped it off with some fresh mango and strawberries, and I'm really excited to eat this because yesterday, I barely ate any food because I couldn't keep anything in my stomach, so I'm excited to eat food today and hopefully not get sick again. Just good. That's real good. Yesterday was actually the first really nice day. It was like 30 something degrees and I was so mad that I was sick all day. Um, but today it's, it actually looks like nicer out today. Like it's really sunny and looks like it's gonna be a really good day. So I'm really excited to maybe spend some time outside and get some sunshine because I'm missing it and I'm losing my tan. I'm getting pale. You see those splotches? I'm getting pale. that concentration face. Get it.
All right, so we just got back from the gym. I'm really sweaty. I did a quick two mile run and then some ab workouts. Nothing too strenuous, didn't want to overwork myself. I think we're gonna make some lunch. Radio. Look at that, sweaty hair. Okay, so we're gonna make some lunch and then try and make it quick so that we can get out on a bike ride in this nice weather. I'm excited because we haven't ridden our bikes. Well, I haven't ridden my bike, you rode your bike. I haven't ridden my bike since we've been home. And that's been two weeks too long. I haven't long. even built your bike back up. He's gonna build my bike up and I'm gonna make lunch. Teamwork. Then we're gonna eat. Then we're gonna go on a little bit of a ride, catch some sun because it's like 30 degrees out right now. And it's gonna go back down to like 14, rainy. Okay, let's get on it. Team break. <laughs> Okay, so basically for lunch, I'm just gonna make a really quick and easy vegetable stir fry. We have some really random vegetables left over in the fridge that I'm just gonna whip together with some tofu. And I've got some brown rice already cooking on the stove. Um, so basically I'm just gonna make the tofu the way I did it in my last What I Eat In A Day video where we made um, sort of like fried rice. Um, we are like obsessed with eating tofu like that now because you know, once you get obsessed with something, you eat it every single day. Um, and everyone was asking like how we made it and everything like that even though I left the recipe in the description I'm gonna show you guys at least like the marinade and how to do it um, because it's it's just so good <laughs> okay so I have the oven set to 450 you can see that I just Everyone always asks me like how long I bake my tofu. I don't really know. It depends on how big I cut them, how small I cut them. But I'll show you what they look like when they're done. You just wanna cook them until they're as crisp as you like it. Now I'm going to make the marinade. So I have just one smushed garlic clove in there. The first time I made this recipe, I used garlic powder because I find garlic powder sticks to the tofu a little bit better, but I don't have any garlic powder. So I'm just gonna use a smushed clove of garlic. that's it and you can totally adjust it to how you want it to taste like if you want it more spicy add more chili if you want it more sweet add more maple syrup more salty more tamari etc um but yeah this is like our favorite go-to tofu recipe at the moment so the tofu is just finishing baking and then once they're done i'm gonna throw it in this marinade and then i'm gonna throw it in a pan to crisp them up on the outside and then after that i'll add in the veggies and the rice and should be a good lunch. Okay, so I've got the tofu in the pan. When you put the tofu in the pan, you don't want to... Oh, sorry, I had the hiccups. <laughs> You don't want to put in all of the sauce. You want to put in as little of the sauce as possible because then you can add the sauce when you're cooking the veggies and the veggies soak up the sauce too. And that's lunch. Quick and easy, simple, delicious. I'm so excited to eat this. Did you build my bike? I did. Did you build my bike? Bike is all built. 
This looks good. Didn't I do a good job? For just random veggies and frozen veggies that we had in the freezer and fridge. I think I did a good job. Hells yeah. I'm asking for a high five. Oh. Thank you. Fist bump. Yep, this is the life. I love yeah. yeah. <laughs> he knows it. Oh, he's so cute. I'm so excited. Look, my baby's all built back up again. How did it feel being on the bike? I felt so good. I missed my bike so much. That was so much fun. We just did like a little cruise, like nothing like super extravagant, just kind of rode around the neighborhood a little bit. Probably like 3 or 4K. Yeah, probably just like 3 or 4K, but it was a lot of fun. And I definitely missed being back on my bike because it's been like two weeks and that's way too long. That ride made me really excited to ride in the summer. Like I'm so pumped so like because the lake and stuff. yeah, because we never really, I got into cycling March of last year and it was really cold, like up until we left for Thailand in May. So I never really did, like we didn't do a lot of cycling. Plus I was new, so I was kind of like scared to ride around in traffic, but now I'm so excited <laughs> and I'm so much more fit. I said this on my Instagram story the other day. I was running on the treadmill and like like I said today like I just ran two miles on the treadmill but before we had left like a year ago when I was at the gym I was struggling to run half a mile on the treadmill <laughs> and now I can just easily run like two miles like no problem and it just shows like how much a year of just like riding the bike and definitely no car just riding the bike improves your fitness so much we're even thinking we don't want a car now I know we were like oh we <laughs> We're gonna get a car when we come home and stuff like that, but like, I don't even think we need it. And I'd honestly rather just ride my bike. There's no point. It's so funny, like now, like when we were riding, like before looking at the hills being like, oh my God, that's so steep. Or like, just like riding to and from somewhere, we'd be like, that's so far. And now we're just like, that's so easy. Why the heck did we think that was so hard? But yeah. You're newbies. Noobs. It's just so much fun. I'm so excited for the summer. Anyways, I'm gonna cool off a little bit. And then... Dinner? Dinner. And dinner. 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 Supper? Supper, that's what my mom calls it. Supper. Are you gonna be home for supper? <laughs> supper, <laughs> that's such a weird so word. Weird. <laughs> I'm also having this bowl of strawberries. Nice little refreshing snack. Okay, so Kyle's already started cutting up some potatoes for dinner. We got- Supper. <laughs> supper. <laughs> we got one pan here and Two more, oh my gosh, these hiccups. Two more pans here. What are yeah. we having? I have no idea what they're called. Po what is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Potacos? No, they're not tacos. They're no. nachos. Oh, ponachos? <laughs> no, potachos. Potachos? I think that's what they call them. I don't know, maybe I got it totally wrong. Kind of inspired, I guess from like the WSLF kind of group, maybe Mr. and Mrs. Vegan. Honestly, I'm not too sure who started it, but um, 
we're making potato nachos and you guys have probably already seen them before I've seen them all over YouTube already but basically we've cut potatoes into small almost like little chips and we're gonna make potato nachos Ugh. Pachachos. Pachachos. Pachachos, man. <laughs> Pachachos. Alrighty folks, the infamous potachos. <laughs> but oh, these hiccups, I've had them all day. Potato nachos. I feel like this is gonna be really messy. That's good. I would rather eat these than nachos because I love potatoes so much. Me too. So, I just made this huge plate because I wanted to make it look like really good. <laughs> but we still have a bunch of leftovers, so I guess we'll both just pick out this plate and then if we want more, we'll eat more. Totally. What do you rate it out of 10? Nine. Nine and a half. I was gonna say the same. I could use like some vegan sour cream or like Vegan cheese sauce or something. Yeah. All right. Vegan cheese for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today was an absolutely beauty day. Perfect weather. Went for a bike ride. Went to the gym. It's pretty good, eh? Eh? I'm so Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like a little mini taco. They're tacos and nachos. Potato. Potato shows. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Let me know what you thought of the video down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.